Good morning, good morning, good morning. So today's morning motivation or morning inspiration or whatever we're calling it, I haven't figured out a name yet, was actually inspired, so I guess I'll call it morning inspiration, by a question that I saw on Facebook about if you could give your younger self any advice, what would it be? And I know when we're going through the life transition or life, um, a life chapter turning to the next chapter, as in the case of a disillusion of a, of a marriage or a long-term relationship, we can sometimes look back and go, I would have told my younger self to you know, not get married so young or not have a baby so young or not, or, or travel more. There's so many things we would like to tell our younger selves, um, especially when we're thinking about parts of our life that we're maybe not so excited about or when things are going particularly rough. And um, I think that's really important. But I also think it, it kind of is a double-edged sword to look so far back because what that tends to bring forward is the feeling like, um, if I could change this this journey that I'm on before it starts, then I would have a different outcome. Here's the thing, that's very well could be true. Or you could change every single step and still end up at this point. And so I have a I have an issue with looking back too far and, and living too far in that that nostalgia. Because I think that's part of what keeps relationships stagnant and dying, or keeps them stagnant and, and precipitates their dying, is the looking back to when things were good or when things were different and not recognizing that sometimes relationships are just changed by virtue of what has happened inside of them. And that's a hard reality that many people don't want to think about is that by virtue of living, sometimes the relationship gets changed in a way that it is no longer recognizable. And it is no longer the thing that we really need to be whole, happy and healthy with ourself in that moment or where we see ourselves going. And that's not a selfish realization. That's a life realization. That's an understanding that there are, there are certain events that transpire and sometimes it's just living. But usually there are certain things that transpire in a relationship that shift the very energy of them, the very nature of them in such a way that they no longer are the relationship that can help us be whole, happy, and healthy. And so that transition happens. And we find ourselves going through a divorce with the disillusion of a long-term relationship if we haven't actually signed on that line. And we we wrestle with the the idea that that somehow I can't just I can't just say I've outgrown this or this used to be this, but it's now this. And this feels like a permanent state. This doesn't feel like we're going to get someplace else. It's very difficult to acknowledge that relationships run their course. Um, we can do it much more easily with friendships. But for some reason, when it comes to falling in love, romantic love, we are under this impression that that's never going to end that there's nothing that's ever going to change that feeling. But we know that that isn't true. We all understand that intellectually that that is not true. But instead of acknowledging that sometimes you have to re-fall in love with the new person that you are in, that you were in love with or married to or in a significant relationship with in order to keep that relationship going, or you, if you don't, chances are that relationship is not going to be the thing that, that allows you to continue to be whole, happy, and healthy as you progress through your life. So here's the thing this morning. Instead of looking back in nostalgia about what might have been or what you could have said or done differently 10, 15, 20, 30 years ago, perhaps it would just be a good idea to look at where you are now and ask yourself, if I could tell myself anything different right now that will change how I want to see my life in 5, 10, 15, 30 years from now, what would that be? And say that to yourself now. And then perhaps in saying that to yourself now and then acting on that, acting on that possibility, acting on that piece of advice that you can give yourself because you've lived something, you've been through a few things, you've got some perspective and you're still learning, then you can begin to turn that chapter, the next chapter into the thing that you want it to look like three, five, 10, 15, 30 years from now, instead of looking backwards and going, gosh, I wish I could have look forward and say, I'm definitely gonna. And this is a good thing to think about, not only for your personal life and your personal self um, growth, but also for your relationship. If where you want to be 5, 10, 15, 30 years from now in your current relationship isn't where you are now, what advice would you give yourself to help you get there?